In biology, one of my favorite words to say is endoplasmic reticulum. It just rolls off your tongue nicely. Unfortunately, for such a nice word to say, it's a really long word to write. So typically, you'll see it abbreviated ER. The endoplasmic reticulum, whose name means inside the fluid of the cell network, is just that. It's a network of tubes and sacs of membrane that go throughout the cell. Now, there's two versions of the endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is named that because it's covered with ribosomes, little bumps on the surface there, that are involved in protein synthesis. Whereas the smooth ER doesn't have any of those ribosomes, so its surface would be a lot smoother. And the smooth ER is involved in making lipids and uh, steroid molecules, such as cholesterol, uh, testosterone, as well as making the phospholipids that make up all the membranes of all the organelles and the plasma membrane or cell membrane itself. Additionally, in some cells of your body, they may be involved in the breakdown of some materials. That would be called detoxification. Let's take a look at the inside of a cell and see where the ER is. If you're trying to find the ER, you'll always be able to find it right next to the nucleus because part of its membrane is actually merged with the outer membrane of the nucleus. So if we zoom in on this, we can see here this green layer here is the nuclear envelope, which has a double layer, and the outer layer just becomes this folded over layer here. Now you'll see these ones have all these blue bumpy bits on them. That's the rough ER with its blue bumpy ribosomes. And if you ran your fingers along it, it would feel greasy and bumpy, so you'd hear that sound. So just think RER -R is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. While the smooth ER, which is much smoother, but still would feel greasy because it's made out of all those phospholipids, which are kind of fat, if you ran your fingers over that, it'd go the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or SER. And we can see here that the rough ER is directly attached because it's working in close coordination with the nucleus and the Golgi apparatus. The nucleus gives the messenger RNA instructions to the ribosomes that are sitting on the rough ER. They pump their proteins that they're synthesizing into the rough ER, and then it sends it off to the Golgi apparatus. Over here, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it may not be directly hooked up to the nucleus like that, although its interior ultimately will connect somewhere to those uh, rough ER interiors. And it is taking in materials that are coming in through the cell, and it's sending off little sacs of membrane out to whatever part of the cell needs them. And there you go. The endoplasmic reticulum has two main parts, rough and smooth. Rough does proteins, smooth does not.